guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making my all-time favorite treat. I probably say this every video, but this one is actually it. And that is a Rice Krispie peanut butter chocolate roll cookie thing. Amazing, delicious, amazing, delicious. So for this recipe, you are going to need some Rice Krispies. You're gonna need some mini marshmallows. You're going to need some butter and some peanut butter. And that is it. You're also going to need some wax paper and a cookie sheet. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to line our cookie sheet with wax paper. Whoa, Nelly. Ta-da! So the next thing we're going to need to do is take some mini marshmallows and put them into a large microwave safe dish or bowl, whatever you may be using. I'm just using this glass dish here. And also going to put our peanut butter and our butter in that and we're gonna pop that in the microwave and melt it up. But I'm gonna bring you down here to show you how to do it all, I guess. So we're gonna try and get about six cups of mini marshmallows in here. I need to take one fourth cup of peanut butter. Pop that in. And you also need one fourth cup of butter. Now we're just going to stick this in the microwave and melt it all down. It should take about two minutes, but take it out every, say, 30 seconds or so and give it a stir just so you don't burn anything. Once it's all melted down, it should look like this kind of a gooey mess. Just give it a stir around and make sure that everything's mixed well together, not all the butter is melted. Next thing we're gonna do is add our Rice Krispies. So you're going to need five and a half cups of Rice Krispies, and then you just dump them in. I usually like to pour some in and then mix it around before I add them all. Once you have everything all mixed good and well together, then you can take your mix and spread it out onto your wax paper. a second. So for the next part we are going to need some chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. Nope, these ones are just chocolate chips. If you want you can use chocolate chips mixed with peanut butter chips but I love the way it tastes when it's just chocolate so I am just going to use the chocolate chips. So I'm going to take two cups of the chocolate chips and put them into a microwave safe bowl. I'm also going to add just a little bit of oil just so that they melt together nicely. I'm going to pop the chocolate chips in the microwave for 30 second intervals until the chocolate chips are melted as well. So once your chocolate's all melted, then you're going to spread it on top of the Rice Krispie mix and I'm going to bring you down to show you what I'm about to do. So we're just going to take our chocolate and spread it around the middle. to roll this into a log. So you're going to lift up this one end and you're going to use that to help you roll the log. This is what your rolled Rice Krispie Treat log should look like. Now we're just going to stick this in the fridge for about half an hour until it kind of sets and then we're going to slice it and eat it. So I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's all sliced up. Okay, so I just took the log roll thing out of the fridge and it's nice and 
solid. So now I'm going to slice it up. So I'm just going to take my knife and I'll bring you down here. Ah, Dexter. So now literally all you do is slice it up. The end result should look something like this. These are absolutely amazing. I personally prefer to put them in the freezer and eat them when they're really cold. That's just me. You can leave them at room temperature. You can store them in the fridge. Totally up to you, whatever you prefer. I just prefer them frozen, so that's always an option. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I can't even tell you how good these are. If you're a fan of chocolate, if you're a fan of Rice Krispie squares, if you're a fan of peanut butter, you're gonna love them. They're super easy, though they are super messy, but I promise you they are totally worth it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you happen to make these, send me a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or wherever you happen to be and you happen to see me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you make this and how it turns out. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Gloria, this is why we're on the edge. Drawn in this undying love